Welcome back to 2230, where we delve into the latest news and issues affecting Singapore and beyond. Today, we're diving into the hot topic of the closure of the Central Provident Fund, CPF, Special Account, SA, at the age of 55 and the implications it holds for CPF members' retirement planning. In a recent parliamentary session, Minister for Manpower Ten C. Leng took the stage to address concerns raised by non-constituency member of parliament, NCMP, Leong Mun Wai regarding the closure of the SA. Dr. Tin made it crystal clear that the decision to close the SA is not driven by a desire to save on the higher interest rates paid to account holders. This clarification comes amidst a flurry of questions posed by various MPs, including inquiries about additional government payments to the SA and the possibility of grandfathering the SA for Singaporeans currently aged 55. The closure of the SA at age 55 has sparked a debate about the government's intentions and the impact on CPF members' retirement savings. Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong, also the Finance Minister, has emphasized that the CPF adjustments aim to enhance retirement payouts through CPF Life, which he touts as the best annuity product available in Singapore. However, concerns linger among CPF members about the discontinuation of the SA and the loss of flexibility it entails. The Ministry of Finance, MOF, has provided clarification on the rationale behind the closure of the SA. According to MOF, savings in the SA, which can be withdrawn anytime for members aged 55 and older, should not earn a higher interest rate as a principal. While savings up to the full retirement sum transferred to the retirement account will continue to earn the long-term interest rate, any remaining SA savings moved to the ordinary account will earn the short-term interest rate. Despite these explanations, skepticism persists among CPF members about the long-term implications of the CPF adjustments. Some worry about the impact on their retirement planning and express disappointment over the loss of flexibility associated with the SA. The upcoming Ministry of Manpower's Committee of Supply, COS, debate promises to shed further light on the matter, with Dr. Ten slated to provide a more comprehensive explanation. As we navigate through these complex issues, it's essential for us to stay informed and engage in constructive dialogue. What are your thoughts on the closure of the CPF special account at age 55? Do you believe it will truly enhance retirement benefits for CPF members, or do you share the concerns raised by some individuals? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more insightful discussions on Singaporean news and politics. Your support keeps us going, and we appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, stay informed, stay engaged, and take care.